Hello, it's the Grape Explorer, uh, back with another video. Today we're going to be looking at WSET Level 1 exam questions again. Now the reason for this is I get a lot of request videos to provide further information about some of the questions you may get asked when you take WSET Level 1 in wine. So I thought today I'd go through about 10 questions to give you a feel for what you might get asked if it's an exam you're thinking about taking or if you're in the process of getting ready to take the course, what you might expect to receive by way of questions on the day. Before we actually get onto the questions itself, I just want to give you a little bit of background information about how the exam is broken down. So, in the case of WSET Level 1, there are three learning outcomes. Learning outcome number one is to know the key stages in grape growing and winemaking. That's worth six marks. Learning outcome two is to know the types, characteristics and styles of wines made from the principal grape varieties and other examples of wines. Now that's worth 18 marks, a lot of focus on that section. And then finally, learning outcome three is knowing the key principle and practices involved in the storage and service of wine. And that's worth six marks. So it's a 30 question exam and you get plenty of time to go through the questions and you know from previous videos when I've talked about wine study my own advice really as I've done this is to to go through the exam questions 1 through 30 just have a read through first to get a feel for what you're comfortable with what you might need to come back to and then start to sort of go through the questions themselves now the questions are usually multiple choice although there are a couple of true or false questions in the exam and um, now what I would say about level one is it is an easier exam but of course exam taking scenarios do add additional pressure to ourselves they do make it a little bit more difficult so do always take the time you've got plenty of time to get through the questions do take the time to go through uh, the questions one by one don't feel you need to rush you do have sufficient time and once you do that everything that you've learned as part of that course will come out and no doubt you'll score a great result so question one is all about characteristics in wine from an aroma perspective what flavour is associated with wine described as oaked? Is it A, vanilla, B, melon, C, raspberry, or D, apple? I think in this case, this is actually quite a relatively straightforward one. You know, from the answers that have been provided, three of them are fruits and one of them is not. And you do learn about oak uh, imparting secondary aromas in the wine and you'll learn that vanilla is a classic aroma characteristic that you would find in an oaked wine. It's answer A, vanilla. Let's move on to a question about service and storage. There aren't as many questions about those, um, but you do get them, you do need to know them of course. When recommending a wine to a customer, it is best practice to one, establish the customer's wine preferences, two, establish what food the customer is planning to eat, three, consider how the food may affect the wine, and four, select a wine that you like. And then what you've got there is a series of answers which are related to the, uh, the numbers in the question. So is it two and four, is it one, two, three, one and two, or one? Again, when you're looking at this one, you know, number four, select a wine that you like, uh, is of course got nothing to do with what the customer lo might like. So you can discount anything with number four in it immediately. So then it comes down to, to the other choices. And if we go back and take a look at that card, you know, it is all about what does the customer like, what are they going to have to eat with their wine, and what might that food do to the wine so that you can provide an informed decision about what's going to be available for them. So in the case of this, the correct answer is B, it's numbers 1, 2 and 3. So our next question is all about pairing appropriate foods and wines. Uh, a wine most suitable for recommending with acidic food will have either A, lower levels of acidity than the food, B, equal or higher levels of acidity than the food, C, lower levels of sugar than the food, or D, equal or higher levels of sugar than the food. For me, when I did WSET Level 1, this was the type of question that would trip me up. You do spend a lot of time during the day covering off food and wine pairing, particularly what sensations in food will do to your wine. But an acidic food is going to make your wine seem less acidic. Uh, and you do need to be careful when pairing high acid foods with low acidity wines. So the right answer here is to pair a wine that has either equal or higher levels of acidity than the food. Okay, now we're going to move on to another question around characteristics in wine. So Chardonnay from the New World is often described as having which fruit character? Is it A, plum, B, blackcurrant, C, fruits of the forest, or D, tropical fruit? 
Now I think the interesting thing with this question, similar to the one we had earlier, is three of the answers really all relate to the same sorts of things. You know, plum, blackcurrant, fruits of the forest are all um, red fruit characteristics or black fruit characteristics. And of course we're talking about Chardonnay, it's a white wine. And when we're talking about wines from the New World, we tend to be talking about uh, climates which are considerably warmer than some of those Old World um, climates. So where it comes to the Chardonnay as a white wine, we'd be looking at tropical fruits, pineapple, mango, those are the sorts of tropical fruits. So in this case, it's answer D, tropical fruits. Okay, next question is all about the serving of wine. Uh, at what temperature should a full-bodied red wine be served? A. Chilled 10 degrees centigrade. B. Slightly chilled 12 degrees centigrade. D. Room temperature 16 to 18 degrees centigrade. Or D. Well chilled 6 to 8 degrees centigrade. Now you do go cover a number of wines on the day and actually if your tutor's doing their job properly they'll be talking to you about the best service temperatures for those wines. But generally what you're going to learn is white wines are generally served at lower temperatures than red wines and we've only really got one option here that's suitable for red wine because it doesn't mention the world chilled and that's room temperature so the answer here is answer C. And sticking on the theme of chilled or room temperature wines, uh, which of the following wines should be served chilled? Is it A, Carver, B, Vintage Port, C, Australian Shiraz, or D, Chianti? Now, again, you'll have gone through the um, different types of wines and their serving temperatures during the days you've done this. But in the case of this particular question, there's one important thing to note here. The Chianti, the Shiraz, and the Port are all from black grapes and we've already established through one of our earlier questions that generally black grapes, red wine, are served at higher temperatures. So Carver being the only sparkling wine in this particular question is the correct answer, it's A, Carver. Okay, now a question about how we taste wine in accordance with the WSET systematic approach to tasting. So according to that approach to tasting, what's the correct order to taste wine? Is it A, smell, taste, look? Is it B, look, smell, taste? Is it C, taste, smell, look, or is it D, smell, look, taste? Now, if you've been following any of my series of uh, tasting masterclasses, which I've done in a particular order, I did the look of wine, the smell of wine, and the taste of wine. And so this is, should be very straightforward. We look at our wine before we smell it and taste it, and that's answer B. Okay, next up is a question about food pairing, but particularly what type of foods give off what kind of flavorings. So, which of the following foods is high in umami? Is it A, lemons, B, cucumber, C, mushrooms, or D, cheesecake? So this is an interesting question because we've got different foods and different food types here. You know, lemons are quite acidic, cheesecake is naturally sweet. Uh, so really, you're probably gonna come down to cucumber or mushroom, but we actually specifically talk about mushrooms as part of WSET level one. So in this case, answer C is correct, it's mushrooms. Next, we're gonna have a question about location. Um, so where is Rioja? Is it A, Germany, B, Spain, C, Italy, or D, France? Now, you're gonna learn this through the book. You might even taste a Rioja on the day that you take the course as one of the recommended wines to try. Uh, but all of these countries are in Europe, so it really comes down to what you've learned through the book, but everybody should be familiar with Rioja as a region in Spain. And finally, we're going to finish with a true or false question that might seem very obvious, but it is something that does come up in the exam. Uh, red wines are best stored in direct sunlight. Is this true or is this false? Well, if you're someone who enjoys spoiled wines, then it would be true. But of course, the answer here is false. Red wines are best kept stored in a darkened area at a constant temperature with no exposure to direct sunlight. So there we go. The answer to that one is B, false. I hope you found those questions useful and interesting. If you are in the process of taking your WSET exam, please let me know how you're getting on with it. And if you have any other questions that you might like to have answered, uh, please give me a shout out, no problem at all. Always happy to answer any questions. I'm the Grape Explorer. I'll see you again soon. Cheers.